Today on Logan Lee Adventures, it's an action-packed, adrenaline-rushing journey through the top legendary hits of Iceland. We got the Golden Circle Trifecta, we got the Mystique Blue Lagoon, and we even got some traditional sheep head for dinner all coming for ya. Oh, and it's a huge milestone celebrated in Iceland in a huge way because it's my 100th vlog! Morning Adventures! There's your room. We are in our car that we rented and we are starting the day off with the Golden Circle of Iceland. Taxi Waterfall. Boxy or should I say? Boxy. Literally standing right on top of the fall. Look at this. You can see it just falling down right there. The view is on these bosses in Narragano. the geysers right now and as you can see with all the smoke coming up from these hot springs the water can be from 80 degrees to 100 degrees you know how hot that is that is like my bones will disintegrate type of hot in there for too long I love being in one of those Japanese spas where it's like 40 50 degrees but any more than that I'm already dying so you can see how hot these smokes and steam is coming from. Waiting for this geyser to and explode. So let's see in a few minutes. You can already smell the oh. sulfur. With anticipation. It's literally killing me. Okay, not literally, but you know, definitely giving me goosebumps. Or it's literally air. I hope she got it. Wait, another one. Oh! Wow! You guys see this? What? That little, like blue bubble that like literally looks like a pimple, which is like wild, like and then bursting. It almost seemed like it was coming so hard that I was gonna hit them. <laughs> I was so shocked when we both were, except I was the one kind of screaming. Yeah, the scream came out very um, unex unexpectedly, just like the guys that explode. But anyways, we're gonna continue walking around this little park with all these geothermals and geysers and see what else can these geysers be as big as my 100th vlog? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, <here> <laughs> <laughs> There's a hole. Yeah. Oh, and I fell something again. Yeah. And again, again. Oh! oh. oh. Little small one to end it off. <laughs> Iceland. Are you familiar with that smell of when you left your eggs for too long and you walked after expiry date? Well, this 
is the exact same smell as you get walking through the Geyser Park from these sulfur fumes. But when you peer into that pool, you forget about the smell because it just looks so cool. Not many people know this, but the word geyser itself is an Icelandic word that derives from, you guess it, geyser here itself. Just like how the Norwegian word fjord became popular all around and been used in an English context, the word geyser has now been used in an English context everywhere else, whether you're looking at the geyser in New Zealand or the geysers all around Iceland. Wow. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> So this is called the little geyser. <laughs> so cute, right? But actually, oh. this is called little, which means little. Oh. I've dreamed of traveling Iceland for so long now, and I can't believe we are actually here. The reason being, I've always wanted to get lost in this epic nature from waterfalls that thunders to alien lands that made Nordic mythos. Cool falls, which literally translates to golden waterfalls or waterfalls. Truly, you just can't be out. for a little, little ice This must be the reason why you cannot miss out on the gold falls. I mean, look at this canyon that just runs straight through and all the mist that comes out of the falls. Spectacular. We're at the top of the falls now. This is where the water starts running off to get down to where you saw it. Wow. The last place on the Golden Circle that you have to check out is Thingvalka National Park where we are right now. As you can see it's in full autumn swing with these beautiful bursts of gold, orange, red and yellow all around us and this gorgeous lake just smack dab in the middle of it all. In the distance you can see beautiful mountains. It is really beautiful geologically. Just exploring, walking around, getting a little bit closer to the water. And with our car, you can just drive all throughout the national park and just pit stop in little spots like this. Iceland constantly reminds you that it's a symphony of elements. It's a vast volcanic laboratory where mighty forces shape the earth. Geysers gush, mud pots gloop, ice covered volcanoes rumble, and glaciers cut great pathways through the mountains. Its supercharged splendor seems designed to remind us of our utter insignificance in the greater scheme of things. And it works a treat. Some crisp, clean air, an eyeful of the cinematic landscapes, and everyone is transfixed. What's more Icelandic than sheep head? The sheep head, literally, is one of the most iconic dishes of Iceland. 
and we just ordered one and we're waiting for its arrival and then we're just gonna dig in I don't know what to expect I don't know what it's gonna look like I assume it's literally just a head of a sheep but these are the infamous sheeps and lambs that graze all over the island First step to eating this is removing the jaw of the lamb, the sheep head. So don't be afraid to use your hands. Oh my god, oh my god, oh, oh goodness, that is. Oh, but you can smell just the meat coming off of that. Wow. Look at those teeth! Oh my gosh! Very succulent. <laughs> Chewy texture. Mm -hmm. It's so tender. And I don't think they did much to marinate the meat. It's not like the meat is spicy or any particular flavor, but I would say lamb itself. The tongue is really nice. Definitely very meaty. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, that's the eyeball. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, oh wait. Wow. Wow. Juicy. Really? It's like seafood. Is that wrong? Like the inside of a shrimp. You know when you're eating shrimp and you crack yeah. open the shell? Okay. Yeah, it's this very similar texture, very similar. It's just intestines, it's like Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a vicious Viking just devouring this. Like with my hands, not even using any forks or spoons or knives. Ooh. Just look at that. Oh my gosh. Good job, back to back. Oh! Yeah. Like it. When you think and when you hear of Iceland, you think of geysers, beautiful mountains, Reykjavik, but you also think and hear of the Blue Lagoon. The Blue Lagoon is a luxury spa that we are going to go to right now and me and Yuri have been quite stoked to experience this for a long while because you know when you hear Iceland you think of the Blue Lagoon as one of them and so finally we get to check and experience what this spa has to offer. Walking into the gates of Blue Lagoon and of course we're greeted by this cool walkway of lava volcanic rocks all along the way. So outside the Blue Lagoon entrance, and you can already get a sneak peek of what it looks like. It's literally blue. You can see the steam right there in the distance. And the rock has all these mosses on it. Ooh. And it's really chilly, so we're really excited to just Get our spa, get our thermal heating on. First little section, 
that is so cozy, toasty, warm already. Look at this water. Is it deep? No. <laughs> As you can see, it is definitely so luxurious here. So our package includes a face mask and a free drink. And of course, we're gonna grab the face mask first and then get right to it. Look at this, and then there's mountains all around. Ah. And even though it's a really hot location for hot figuratively and literally, but a lot of people come here, the place is big enough that it doesn't feel crowded at all, as you can see. Getting my face mask now, going on with this. <laughs> Scrubbing the dead away. Try to swim. <laughs> Not that healthy. <laughs> this is um, what happens when I try to look all luxurious and fancy. Oh, he's dancing now, boys. He dancing. And I'm just drinking the water that everybody bathes in every day. Oh, he's sassy. He's sassy. <laughs> Everyone, if you've enjoyed 
enjoyed this video, give this a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. This has been Iceland by Logali Adventures.